Listeners and subscribers, how's it going? It's California Carter. So last week from the 18th to the 21st, I was in San Diego. Uh, now for the majority of the trip, I was sick. I felt fine going down there. When I got there, uh, things just escalated. I continued to feel under the weather. Uh, I had planned to get out, walk around with my cell phone camera, take all kinds of footage and make commentaries and, and talk about what I was seeing, especially being in, in South uh, California, which doesn't happen for me very often anymore, um, given what, what goes on there nowadays. Uh, it's kind of like San Francisco, where you have uh, increased uh, homelessness and, and poverty, people with, with mental health issues who seriously need uh, attention and help. We see these individuals who have fallen through the cracks of the system being completely neglected. Uh, and this is what's happened here in California and elsewhere. So while I was heading down, to San Diego, I was able to get your your telltale footage, the, the highlights. Um, I'll play a couple of those clips. One thing that really got me uh, while we were heading down there was this right here, what you're looking at. Uh, some guy trying to merge right on top of another gentleman. Um, this has happened probably maybe two or three times while heading down there. I, I was asleep for, for a lot of it. Again, I wasn't feeling well. Um, but another thing that we had continued to see, uh, once we started hitting, I would say, just just before, just about the Los Angeles area, um, we started seeing all of these no ice signs over the overpasses. Uh, I know, I think it was last week when I really started to hear a lot from, from my friends about the immigration and to go ahead and check out what the, what the narratives and the, the rhetoric was uh, through the mainstream media because a lot of that gets absorbed into the public consciousness and people start to repeat what they hear without looking into the facts. Um, it, it becomes a whole cluster jam. Now, initially, I, I wasn't going to say anything about the, the immigration issues, but I think that, and, and again, we're talking about illegal immigration. Um, they say no person is illegal, that's, that's fine, but people can be criminals when they commit illegal acts. Um, and that's kind of what we're looking at here. When, when, you, when you break the law, are, are you a criminal? And is, is breaking the law a criminal act? I mean, I, I would say some obviously would say yes. Um, now, not everybody agrees with what our laws are and what constitutes breaking a law, but we do have immigration laws, and when those laws are broken, uh, that is illegal. Um, not calling a person illegal, just criminal for perpetuating illegal acts. Um, I'm, I don't take the, the position that we should stop all immigration. Um, I, I am not against legal immigration. Um, I am against some of the collateral damage that illegal immigration can cause. And I just think that when people sort of get caught in the emotions of something like uh, the immigration topic, the issues that we we're seeing faced with immigration, when people become too hypersensitive, I would say, to these issues, they don't tend to take into consideration the logical arguments. And again, it's it's the rhetoric that's the inflammatory rhetoric that's really zeroed in on by the media when somebody's making commentary because it's the sensationalized. Uh, dramatized aspects of, of the daily goings-on that gets the attention of the people. That's that's what makes headlines. You know, that's why Donald Trump is overwhelmingly effective at maintaining um, a presence in the media. I mean, Donald Trump has been viral for the past two years. Uh, and and he, there, there's reasons why, because the, the media plays off a lot of what he says and, and, and manipulates it. And that gets views. That that gets a lot of views. Unfortunately, people aren't necessarily interested in the facts. I mean, I give alternate views for, for news and opinions and stuff here on this channel, but I, I can see um, how well-received and how not well-received it is um, based on, you know, based on an individual's uh, approach to the information or response to the information. And that's kind of what I've seen streamlined when talking about something like immigration uh, or illegal immigration. Um, 
uh, again, I've said it before, people tend to jump to the things that, that people disagree with the most. So we, we can't talk about abortions without going straight towards, well, are you against abortion if somebody's raped or incest? You know what I mean? Um, when, when the reality is the majority of abortions are done out of convenience. You know, this is what we talk about. When we talk about these, these subjects and people become hypersensitive about them, we can't engage in, in the logical, the, the, the typical discord that goes with it. Um, without that that discord um, being ramped up and again inflamed um, we find it very hard to talk about these subjects with a level head because of a lot of what's perpetuated in in the mainstream media and and social media and these are going to be um, these are going to be reoccurring themes when it comes to contributing to the vitriol uh, that, that people experience when talking about this but I thought that was just uh, something interesting to bring up. Just in my time going down to San Diego, um, you know, I, I saw the, the, the no ice posters over the overpasses, and uh, it, it got me thinking about where I was and, and the, the, the mindsets of some of the individuals who were affected by the, the propaganda and some of the narratives espoused by the media and, and some of the things, especially the inaccurate things that's put on online and social media. That's why we have to be very careful um, when it comes to, to scrutinizing our sources, no matter what those sources are. I was just talking to my brother yesterday um, about how he would like to be more informed about some of the issues that, that I am. Because um, we always sit down and we have a, a, at least one talk about something you know, sensitive, race, gender, class, immigration. Um, and he wants to be more informed. He just has an issue. Well, how do I properly discern you know my sources how do i tell whether this is you know fake news or, or not and um that's really the million dollar question is when you're when you're approaching a topic or a subject is is how do you how do you appropriately figure out you know what what you can what's good and, and what's not what do you hold on to and, and what do you kind of let go um the, the number one bit of advice I have is, is to look for bias. If you can tell somebody is overwhelmingly uh, approving of Donald Trump or overwhelmingly disapproves of him, um, you can kind of tell what they feel um, based on based on the words they use, the, the describers, the, the, the modifiers. And, and you can kind of tell whether they're pro or anti and, or non-biased. And I think the ones that are, the, the articles that you're reading that may be non-biased, um, that come from legitimate sources, sources that have been known to be reputable. Uh, those are those are the ones that you want to stick with. I think that the mainstream media articles are great for discerning agenda, what narratives they're trying to assign, and getting getting the gist of things. But using that as a basis for fact, you know, a mainstream media article or a headline, uh, th those are just you can use those as a as a directional compass to point you in the areas where to go, and then you can kind of suss out what's uh, what's fact from fiction from there. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this quick video with you. I, I plan on steamrolling some more out now that I've you know changed my setup and everything, and I'm I'm still getting accustomed to it. Uh, hopefully, you guys stick around. And again, we're going to be working on building up this channel. We're we're at a hundred and thirty, hundred and twenty something subscribers, so. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and, and we'll we'll build this channel up, and uh, we'll start to we'll start to have some more in depth commentary about some of these controversial issues, and maybe approach this kind of stuff with a, a level head, rather than irrationally attacking another side or, or something like that. But anyway, you guys take care out there, and uh, stick around. Stay tuned for the next video.